Martin, your, your first team sheet for competitive action. Uh, how long did it take you to finalise your decision? Well, there were a few, uh, a few decisions that had to be made. I think that's, uh, that's pretty natural and pretty obvious. But um, we've settled in this on the team to start the game and obviously everybody ready from the substitutes bench if required. David Ford and goal, was that a difficult one considering that you brought Shea given back? Not necessarily. I think that uh, David uh, fine. Shea had never been made any promises. He'd come back on, uh, on that premise and uh, has knuckled down. He's been very, very good in training. He's been great around about the place as well too, but uh, David's in goal. Has he been a help to, to David or has he added a little bit of pressure, which might be a good thing for David this week? Well, a wee bit of both really. I think he has been a help. I think that... Uh, I think that uh, I think both goalkeepers have, um, have benefited from uh, his experience around about the place. I think it can only be a naturally good thing. And competition has always been, I think, hugely pretty healthy. And considering it all moving Mark Wilson, there was some speculation that you might move him over and perhaps play Richard Kill. You were obviously very fond of him and made him captain last week. Um, yeah, I obviously like Richard. I like, I like most of the players that are playing here. Yeah, to, uh, and... Um, I think that uh, Stephen, the only problem with Stephen is that he hasn't played that much football. Uh, he has had uh, a time at Wolves there where they weren't playing him. And uh, of course that's the manager's prerogative at the time, but he's gone to, to Burnley. Hopefully this time next month he'll be a lot fitter. But uh, he's a natural player in that position and uh, while Wilson has played there and uh, played with plenty of accomplishment, I thought it best just to keep it like that. Can I ask you about formations? I know there are only numbers on a, on a sheet until the game goes on, but is it a 4-3-3 you're playing this evening or a 4-5-1? Well, you can talk whatever you want. It's players playing, and players, uh, we've got three players in the middle of the field. Uh, Glenn will hold as much as possible, allowing the licence for the other two, uh, James and, and Quinn, to get forward and uh, try and support Robbie as much as possible. And, of course, uh, Ian McGeady, who's a match winner, can be and uh, John, who will give you plenty of strength on that side of the field. So it's, Which side uh, will, will Walters be on? Uh, Walters will start on the right-hand side. And Stephen Quinn, a big night for him, and obviously you, you've seen enough from him last week and in, in, the, in the previous friendly games. Do you think he can do a job for you this evening? Well, naturally, I do. I think that uh, uh, he's had a bit of a renaissance there. I think three or four weeks ago, it looks as if he might not even have a future at Hull. He's fought his way into the team. He's shown plenty of tenacity, and here he's, he's been pretty bubbly. So he, uh, he deserves the chance, let's see how it goes. You've always been a big fan of Wes Coolahan. It's the first competitive game though and you've not chosen him. Is there a particular you reason for that? forever and a day, I can only choose 11 players on my side. Wes is very much a big part of, uh, of proceedings here. Uh, we're playing away from home, Wes has generally played at, uh, at home in matches where he has been able to um, unlock defences. And uh, but he, he doesn't start on the side. It doesn't mean that he won't play. The bench is very important, clearly. Uh, absolutely. Well, you've had your moment with the, the the team, and you'll have more before kickoff. We wish you the very best of luck. Thank you. Cheers, Martin.